So many thanks for staying tuned with Metropole Sports Centre. We're taking a look at what has happened in the English Premier League now that Chelsea we won the league for uh, the Reds, the Liverpool. <laughs> I know nationally you're going to dispute that, but actually we won the league for Liverpool. I actually, actually, actually noticed you smiling when you're walking in the studio today. I think uh, it's because of the fixture, this week's fixture when you won that particular match. Actually, actually uh, we're going to win, uh, we won the league for Liverpool uh -huh. and now we're going to win the FA. Now that we're going to play against uh, Manchester United that is on Sunday but mm -hmm. now let's not talk about that mm -hmm. uh, the sanctions on Manchester City mm -hmm. that were imposed on Manchester City mm -hmm. uh, Manchester City will now play uh, feature in the UEFA Champions League next season mm -hmm. and now Manchester United have to work extra hard to make sure that they don't finish uh, fifth on the, on the on the league and actually they have a slot in the, among the top four mm -hmm. but things uh, look a bit tough now that they drew against uh, Southampton the Saints mm -hmm. uh, I had Peter Drew is saying that the Saints hope the devils yeah. and I was like, okay. But uh, but the question is, have have uh, just let's take it out of football okay. for a moment. So just this is just a on the on a light side. Ah. Has uh, has the devils ever won against the Saints? No. They have. Really? In the previous in the previous uh, in the previous seasons, yeah in the previous seasons yeah they have but apparently uh, things seem to be a bit tough. Uh -huh. I mean you know Ole this is actually the, the the most precious moment for him because actually um, he was supposed to win that match and actually move from position five mm -hmm. to, to to top three. Mm -hmm. uh, but again you, Manchester United were leading two goals to one and uh, that and, and the goal came at the last at the last minute that's at, at, at the ninety sixth minute, minute of that particular game now uh, let's let's go back a bit to the issue of uh, Manchester City being allowed to play in the in the Champions League uh, uh, that particular ruling by the sports uh, tribune court of arbitration of sports was it uh, results or was it a prediction was it a, a, a judgment that you were expecting am you expecting otherwise Actually, I didn't expect that. Uh, for me, I knew uh, Man City won't, wouldn't feature in the in the UEFA Champions League next season. But again, uh, you look at it like uh, you know they're using, they're spending their money. So you can't. Uh, uh, people saying that the, the 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 UEFA is actually fighting them for spending their own money. Mm -hmm, how mm -hmm. how can that happen? How can I? You know, yeah. it's your money you mm -hmm. get. Yeah, yeah. So uh, to me, I didn't expect that. But uh, uh, again, most players like Kevin De Bruyne, mm -hmm. uh, the likes of Sterling, uh, Marez, they were saying that uh, you know if you're not going to play next season the UEFA Champions League, then mm -hmm. there's no need to stay at City. Mm -hmm. But now again, you, you see this outcome; it has given them. It's actually the biggest win. This, yeah, it this, has in, this, invigorated this them yeah. in a way. Uh, still talking on uh, matters Champions League. Uh, the performance of Liverpool seems to be winning over the past few uh, games that they are playing. They drew in their last game. Uh, you remember before they had been beaten by Manchester City. By that as in they are not that consistent before they won the league at least we were, we were sure that whenever they went into any particular game they are going to win but right now things are changing what do you think is it that they are complacent or what's going on uh, I think now, now they are very reluctant now that they they won the league and uh -huh. uh, they've been taking so many bottles, bottles of beer uh -huh. in the past weeks now. Uh, they, they've been in that jubilation uh, uh, mood. Uh, but again, you look at them, uh, Jürgen Klopp wants to have a new record for the e English Premier League. He wants to win the remaining matches uh, uh -huh. and actually uh, finish the, 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 the league with maybe a hundred points uh, mm -hmm. and that would be a, another achievement for for him as a manager mm -hmm. and maybe he'll have another year to stay at at, at liverpool but again you look uh chelsea uh, playing them uh, next week uh, on wednesday mm -hmm. uh, chelsea really need to win that match uh, in order to is it do they do they need to win because they're your team or because <laughs> 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 no, Liverpool, we won for them the league no they need to give us this chance to actually participate in the uefa champions league we're having the likes of uh, hakim zh coming uh, -huh. uh timo one will be there. And how, can, how can we participate in the <laughs> Europa League? <Italy? laughs> so, yeah, yeah, so it's only fair for for, uh, for Chelsea to be in that in the in the in the, in the, in the Champions, Champions League. League. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, let's 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 quickly shift gears to my team Arsenal. Yeah. Of course. Um, what what did you make of uh, the the game that they played uh, in the course of this week? 
Uh, Arsenal, they have not been very consistent and uh, uh, the players have not settled at, at the club with Arteta. So to me, I, I think it's going to be very tough. Leno is out, mm -hmm. so Martinez uh, was in between the post and mm -hmm. he's not doing his best. So uh, everyone is actually anticipating where, when will Leno come back and when mm -hmm. will we go back to our winning ways. Mm -hmm. They're not even having a slot, they're not even in a position to have a slot in the, in the Europa mm -hmm. uh, League competition. So for me, you team uh, you really have a lot to do you need okay. to sign a uh, good players come mm -hmm. next season uh, the likes of uh, Aubameyang just let them go yeah uh, and, and uh, you saw the, the you say Mourinho was saying that mm -hmm. uh, I mean if you if you can't qualify for the UEFA Champions League mm -hmm. at least have a slot in the in the in the Europa League because uh, after Champions League the, the, the second most precious uh, uh, competition in Europe it's it's actually mm -hmm. the the Europa League so mm -hmm. for him he's okay he's actually uh, he has admitted I'm mm -hmm. not sure, I'm making it to the UCL, so mm -hmm. let me try and find a slot into the Europa League. Okay, yeah. so uh, there's one player who's actually showing his on top form, that is Martinez. Do you think um, if Leno comes back from his injury, uh, he he's still going to be maintaining his position in the first first <laughs> you, team? You, you are, uh, you're an Arsenal fan, yeah, so of course. For him, of course. For you, you see, like uh, okay, Martinez is doing his best, uh -huh. but for me, uh, in the matches that they have played, uh, he has not uh, been. At his best, for, I, I prefer Leno between the post. But mm -hmm. again, the entire team is not working mm -hmm. uh, very well. But mm -hmm. given a chance that he has a, a very strong defense, look at the likes of David Luiz mm -hmm. and Mustafi. They're making mistakes uh, ev in every game. So yeah. it becomes very tough for him to, to, to become outstanding uh, in the post. So okay. he's good, but uh, actually... Arteta needs to strengthen the, the defense. Uh, I think he, he needs to use um, four defenders, mm -hmm. and like he's using the formation of three, four, three. Mm -hmm. uh, the defense with Luis and Mustafi it becomes very weak. Mm -hmm. uh, is this is this is this the point where we cast uh, aspersions on the quality of David Luiz once again? Yeah, I think Luis uh, he's supposed actually to to, to leave um, Arsenal because. He has wasted the team, and uh, mm -hmm. every time he has been on fault and. Uh, uh, his combination with Mustaf, it's not working. Okay. At the moment, it's okay. not working. Uh, yeah. So your final take. So as the table stands right now, uh, which teams are you seeing qualifying for the Champions League? Which team do you see are going uh, to make significant changes and uh, go into the Europa League? Uh, with me, uh, Liverpool are already there. Man City have qualified. Chelsea, they only need one win. Mm -hmm. uh, so if they win against uh, Liverpool, which I'm sure they will, mm -hmm. they'll have that slot. Uh, and again, we have uh, Leicester City. It's a bit tough. That's a very technical game because mm -hmm. the last match of the, of the, of the league, it's mm -hmm. between uh, Manchester United and, and, and Leicester City. Mm -hmm. And they're actually at the same level, 59 points each. So I think uh, it's going to be very tough, but I'm hoping that Leicester City make his, makes their way to the uh, okay. Champions League. Arsenal, you do not have any good good expectations from no, us. No, Arsenal are <laughs> tenth. How can they make it to at four? least? No, not <laughs> not 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 at least not not top four, but at least for the Europa League. For the Europa League, yeah. No, they won't make it. Uh, that's and that's going to be very sad. I mean, what what are we going to be watching in the next season? Uh, you have to build the Arsenal next season from next season, try uh -huh. to build the team and mm -hmm. have uh, do away with the young players. I mean, Arsene Wenger has been there. He has mentored so many young players. The likes of Thierry Henry, they did very well. Mm -hmm. Now the likes of Saka, um, I mean, they're, they're not clicking in the team. So mm -hmm. you need to get experienced players. Pepe came in, but it's not working in, in, mm -hmm. in England for him. So uh, try and get experienced players who have played actually in England and not other leagues because they understand the league more than this players were coming in like uh, Pepe and uh, do away with David Luiz because mm -hmm. he'll eventually cost uh, uh, Arsenal next the season. Team. And at least once he sold that money can be used to get new players yeah. for the team. There, there are so many young players uh, who are playing, very nice players playing for Norwich which is going to be relegated. Mm -hmm. They can get them the likes of uh, Aston Villa if they are relegated, get players from uh, such teams and boost uh, Arsenal. Okay. Yeah. So, so on Metropole Sports Centre we are going to be following that conversation on the qualification into the Champions League and the Europa League. In Money Ref, we are, we are going to look at some of the players who play the NFL who are actually earning big and uh, 
Uh, at number one, we have Russell Wilson, who plays for Seahawks, and he is earning a total of $53 million. And then we have Kirk Cousins, uh, who plays for Vikings. He earns a total of $40 million. Uh, again, at number three, we have Carson Wentz, uh, who plays for Eagles at $39.4 million. That's U.S. dollars. Then Rian uh, Tanhill. Uh, plays for Titans at 37.5 million uh, total earnings. Then we have Jared Goff, uh, who plays for Rams, uh, earning a total of 31 million. Uh, that's US dollars. Now, these are the price of halftime commercials that have been aired on the Super Bowl halftime show uh, in comparison with years. In, 20, in 2015, uh, the price of a 30 second advert at the NFL Super Bowl was costing a, a total of $4.2 million. In 2016, that was 4.5. In 2017, that was 5 million. And in 2018, was 5.2. 2019, 5.3 million dollars. And then in 2020, 5.6 million dollars. You'll notice that the price of a 30 second advert in the NFL continues to rise over the years. Uh, we are going to be, um, uh, if, if this is the trend that is going to be continuing or uh, continuing in the NFL then chances are that uh, the price of a 30-second advert in the NFL next year is going to cost pretty much higher than this year. Now, time to switch gears into the Sports Facts segment of the show where we usually look at the interesting aspects in the sport. Now, on today's uh, show, since we are talking about the NFL, these are some of the interesting facts that you need to understand about the NFL. Now, the youngest Hall of Famer inductee is Gal Sayers, who was inducted at 34, and the oldest is Ed Sabol, who was 94 upon being inducted. And then the first televised NFL game was in 1939, approximately 500 TV set broadcast broadcasts the game in New York. The Vince Lambo, uh, Lombardi Trophy is given each year to the winning team of the Super Bowl. It is made of, uh, that is sterling silver, and it's worth uh, $25,000. Uh, That's actually uh, 2.5 million uh, Kenyan shillings. And the professional football player in the uh, NFL were not required to wear helmets. That was until uh, the year 1943. Now, in 2011, a 30-second commercial played during during the Super Bowl cost the advertiser approximately three million dollars. Uh, that's pretty much a lot of money for just 30 seconds. Just take a moment and think about that. 30 seconds, three million dollars was used in that particular uh, advert. Now that uh, concludes our second part of Metropole Sports Center. We take a short commercial break and then after the break we are going to be going through the events watch segment of the show. See you after the break.